Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to learn how to connect this little guy. It's a GoPro Hero 9. The setup would be the same for the Hero 8 or the Hero 10, so 8, 9, or 10. Um, what we're going to do is, um, first thing, swipe down, swipe over, go to connections. And we're just going to reset everything just in case. Um, so we're getting a fresh start. It's not trying to connect to any other device. So next we're going to go to the same area, swipe down, swipe that way, connections, and then connect device. And we're gonna select the quick app. And it should look just like that. So while it's in that um, screen, we are now going to go to um, Bluetooth and other device settings, and we're going to click Add Bluetooth. Um, click that, and it's going to search, and there's my GoPro right there, and it is connected via Bluetooth. So uh, Darkroom actually is not controlling the camera over Bluetooth, it actually controls it uh, over Wi-Fi, so we're halfway there. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is open up Darkroom Booth. <clears throat> and <clears throat> let's go back to that setting area. Swipe down, then to the left, connections. And we're going to uh, do the same thing, connect device. Oops, I clicked the remote, not remote. quick app so it should look just like that so um, now we're going to go into um, global settings and click add Bluetooth and select GoPro and it's saying make sure it's on and uh, we'll quick click refresh so it's gonna look and try to connect and as soon as it shows that GoPro camera we can go to the next step And this can take about 30 seconds, so it might take just a little bit. Everything's working just fine. Okay, I'm going to select the GoPro 2208. Click OK, and I'm going to probably get a message. Um, I'm going to click uh, Retry. And now it's going to show me my camera um, SSID and password. The password is really the important part here. We're going to go to our wireless connections. In this case, I have a, mine's going to look a little bit different than yours. I have a uh, Ethernet cable plugged in, but um, I also have a Wi Fi adapter. If you're going to be sharing uh, your videos, um, you're going to want to probably have a uh, Wi-Fi adapter plugged in one for the internet which is what I'm using my uh, network cable for and then one to connect to the actual camera so um, I'll try to put a link for that device that's what I'm using um, currently so there's the network I'm gonna click on that click connect it should ask me for a password and we're going to take that password from right here. So I have asked the developers to make this selectable text uh, because we know how these uh, passwords can be, especially whenever they are uppercase, uh, uppercase and lowercase. But as for right now, we're going to just type that in manually. Hopefully I did everything correct. We'll find out in just a second. And go ahead and connect. And this will take just a moment. So once it connects, uh, one thing you will need is a, um, a memory card in the camera to record the video.
Okay, it's showing that it's secured, it's connected, there's no internet because this doesn't have, actually, it's not broadcasting an internet signal. So we are good. If we click, uh, we'll just click uh, cancel. And it will give us this message, GoPro camera is ready for use, click OK. When we switch to our camera menu, there we go. There's a GoPro Hero 9 Black connected and ready to be used. Few, quite a few steps for this. Uh, it's not the easiest, uh, but what's nice about it is now that it's set up through Wi-Fi, you get it to uh, remember that connection. When you turn it on, your, cam your computer will see that connection. It'll connect automatically. So um, a little bit of setup saves you a lot of time. And currently this is the best option for... Um, 360 booths so has to be wireless because we've talked about it otherwise a wire would wrap you up in your 360 booth so I hope this has been helpful thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time thanks again for watching if there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about be sure to comment below like subscribe and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video I'll let you know here's some other videos you might like most importantly thanks for being a customer I'll see you next time